Hey everybody, it's Chris Griffith down in sunny Bonita Springs, Florida, bringing you the January market report for Southwest Florida, Bonita Springs, and Estero, Florida areas in particular. These statistics were gathered on February 1st and a few on February 2nd because I dragged my feet just a little bit. Uh, our first slide is actually a decade of historical Bonita Springs, Florida real estate sales. And what you'll notice is these are the January sales for the last 10 years from 2005, where you'll see the highest of the highs, 2009, where you'll see the lowest of the lows. And you'll notice that in the beginning in 2004 and at the end at 2013, we are totally leveled off. We'll probably see a few more closed sales for the 2013, just because the end of the month also coincided with the end of the week. So a few folks are probably going to crawl in after the Super Bowl and um, add their add their closed sales to the MLS. So that number will go up just a little bit. The condition of the sales in Benita Springs is a little bit less than 6% foreclosure, a little bit less than 9% short sale. So if you're wondering how distressed our market is, we can tell you that uh, we're quite recovered in this area. Well, we do have a couple stragglers that keep coming through the foreclosure market and a couple uh, short sales that are going to be popping through. We've seen numbers a little bit lower than this in the past and things are really firming up. These folks are paying with their uh, paying for their real estate with cash. So green means cash and our cash section of this pie chart right now is at about 61%. That blue section is um, conventional mortgage. And you'll notice we've had just a little bit of FHA, VA, other which could have been a trade or a clerical error, as well as a little bit of owner financing. What price range in Benita Springs is selling? Well, most of it is, of course, that 400 and under price point that has been on fire for quite some time. But what we are now seeing is that entry level price totally evaporating. We've got only a few homes left under 100. The market has been absolutely on fire out here. Our, we've been watching real estate sell before we even get gotten to it. So we're putting buyers in the car to see this entry level real estate and it's gone before we even show up in the driveway. The inventory is a little misleading on this graph. What you'll not understand is that the pending and those active with contract uh, properties where folks are still getting their inspection, their financing in order, or if they're a short sale, getting their bank approval, those all count as active parcels of real estate. So it's showing at 11.6 months. It's going to be far less than that. So in a few months, when all this shakes out and these properties close, this is going to be well under the six-month balance inventory. If it's a property that's priced underneath 400000 it's a seller's market, and a lot of these properties are going. They're going quickly. If they're priced very well, they are going with multiple offers. So what we're uh, dealing with right now, for those folks that are wondering if they missed the boat, is entry-level prices are rising, and they're rising quickly. We've only got about four single-family homes in the Benita Springs and Estero area, priced under 100000 Only 15 homes, priced under 150000 and those are evaporating. Two months left in our tour season this year. Easter is early at the end of March, so we don't even know what's going to be left in that entry-level pricing as we're watching it disappear quickly. Those deals are remaining in that 600000 and up price point, depending on the neighborhood. There are some great deals in those price points just because it's just starting to take off there. If you're looking to stay in touch with what's going on in the Benita Springs real estate market, I invite you to come follow my blog, lifeinbenitasprings.com. I'm also out there on Facebook, and I'm on Twitter at Chris Griffith FL. Again, if you are not working with a real estate agent, I invite you to give me a call, 239-273-7430. That's 239-273-7430. Or look me up on the web. I would be more than happy to be uh, to help you out. And again, I look forward to hearing from you. If you need further information, just reach out.